Hello and welcome. My name is Ty. I call myself the Gaming Gearhead, and uh, this is my playthrough of Skyrim on Survival uh, Legendary difficulty. Uh, last time we had gone through Bleak Falls Barrow. You can't really see it up there on the hill because there's so much fog. But uh, we got the claw back for I forget what the shopkeeper's name Sorry. is. Nothing. Lucian or something like that. But uh, yeah, I think this time we decided. I think I decided that I was going to try and go down and investigate the ritual site because the uh, courier had just brought me a, a note right as I was about ready to call it quits in the last video. And uh, that was what the quest was for. So I guess we're going to head, head that way. I added a weather mod that... Uh, Gave me a lot more intense weather situations, and I'm pretty sure that's why the fog is so intense. I don't know, remember ever seeing it like this in Vanilla Skyrim. Going back through Helgen, where it all started. Who's this random person? Whoever it is, they open the gates for me. They're usually locked. I'm surprised I'm not being attacked by bandits. There's usually bandits here. Hello, random citizen. Vampire fledgling. Wait, you don't want to chat? No? Okay. Be on your way, then. Don't mess with me, I won't mess with you. I had another mod that has uh, the light poles and then other random things around the world that weren't there before, and it's nice touch. Like, I really like the environmental things you can add to give the game new life. This game was really freaking good for its time, but uh, it does look a little aged at this point, but man, mods just really bring it back. I've never really played it modded before. This looks threatening. Ooh, a nature knock. And I'm on fire. Good thing I have healing now. Matronox make you on fire just from being near him, apparently. That's concerning. Must be one of the mods, because that wasn't the thing before. And uh, that was pointless. Luckily I saved not too far down the road. Let's try this again. At a distance this time. See, I'm trying not to hit you, lady. Oh yeah. I've got... Uh... No, not destruction. Alteration? Is that where it is? Yes. I've got oak, oak flesh now. Give me some extra armor. Come on, Sven. Keep her distracted. That did it. Ouchie. Sven, you alright? He's good. Couldn't save her, though. Sorry, lady. Let's take these just to learn the... That's useful. Learn the spells off of them. Ah, oh, but now she's naked in the snow. These are better warmth and armor rating. Maybe I should be heavy armor. Sorry, lady. I took all your stuff. Fire salts. Ooh, now I can make hot stew to warm me back up. I'll use these gauntlets and boots 
at least while I'm in the cold, because they are more uh, armor and cold resistant. So, why not? Skyrim does have some of the better scenery of the like, majority of video games I've ever played, I feel like. And we're gonna fight zombies. And zombies were pretty dense on my normal playthrough. I wanted oak flesh, not the shield. Uh oh, I don't have enough magic. Still don't have enough magic. Wow, what a miss. No, bad. You guys don't seem as dense as I remember. Maybe you're just the trial version. That was way easier than I th thought it was going to be. I was going to say they don't see me, but they clearly do. Let's see how you fare against flames. I am definitely not as powerful as that Atronach. Oh crap. I was not paying attention. This is dangerous. Guess we're doing the distance thing. I may have a mistake to come here first. Uh oh. That's bad. See if I can lure him away and then uh, put myself in a place where they can't get me. Put myself in a place where I can't get out of here. There we go. Yeah, how about you all just chill right there? Sometimes you gotta be a chicken to make sure you don't die. That was a terrible shot. You leave Sven alone. I'm running out of arrows. Surely I have more than just this. this and I'm also sliding down the rock. This guy with the great sword, he needs to die. My aim is terrible. Is that all my arrows? Surely not. Uh-oh. That's problematic. I wonder if Battle Cry will work. Yeah, this is going to be hard. I should not have chosen this one. <laughs> Too late now. So we're going to get up here on the rock to begin with while Sven distracts them. I just want to add more arrows. And we're going to try not to waste so many. Who's got the lowest life? This is kind of a crappy way for me to have to do this, but it's kind of where I'm at right now. Sorry, Sven. Wish I could be more helpful. 
They're walking around with arrows poking out their back. That was a mess. At least they don't heal. Like trolls. Yeah, get closer. At least I have a little bit of distance on them, though. These tough guys. With the great swords. They're dense. Did that mage hood that I picked up Gives me more magic, huh? Regenerates magic of 50% faster. Maybe I should just wear that while I stand here and wait for them to come by. Yeah, get closer. I set them up, you knock them down. I regret this. One down. We're running for it again. No. Mind your business. Magic is not regenerating as fast as I would like. He's gonna burn to death though. Yeah! Keep coming to me! Is that all of them? There's still one left. What are you doing there, buddy? I can take you. Change my gear real quick. Two on one! What? How did I get... Buzzed. Luckily I saved up on the rock. Cause I'm a coward. <laughs> See if I can lure him over here. Come on, big guy. You know you want to come play. Light him up, Sven. He's got some sort of shock power. Yes! Or no, there's a major something up there. Get her while she's down. Yes! Did we do it? I think we did it. We done did it. So what is this mess down here? Necromancer's Journal. Soul Gem. Spell Tome Conjure Zombie. Read the Necromancer's Journal. Third Sun Height 4E201. An apprentice of mine recently discovered an ancient tome in a forgotten cavern during a gathering expedition. This tome is like nothing I've ever seen for a very in a very long time. I believe it's 
a conjuration spell of some sort, but I can't be certain. I need to spend some time deciphering this. It can be quite valuable to us. I spent the last several weeks working tirelessly to decipher this ancient tome. It just it's just as I suspected. It's indeed a conjuration spell. However, the creature summoned is especially vicious. An undead zombie of wonderfully putrid potency that that's a tongue twister, wonderfully putrid potency. That appears to be much more active in the late night hours. I'm not stopping now. I plan to create an even more powerful version of this spell. As Molag Ball as my witness, I shall have a zombie horde at my command before long. Nothing could have prepared me for the power I am about to wield. The whole of my training has been for this moment. As soon as my apprentices and I shall perform a ritual like this of which has not been seen in centuries and bring forth an undead army powerful and willing to do my bidding. Its power will radiate across Skyrim, bringing forth waves of undead from the darkness. The time is at hand. So I got, uh, I got the spell. Question is... Do I have enough magica? I do. Look at that. I got my own zombie to fight your zombies. This guy had a bad day. Scroll of Harmony. That'll come in handy. Creatures and people up to level 12 won't fight for 60 seconds. Alright, I guess since uh, we completed that, we can head north up past Whiterun and check out the uh, quest to kill the bandit leader at the Halted Steam Camp. Stream Camp. Halted Stream Camp. I can't talk. Words are hard. On the way through, I realized that uh, there was this cave over here that I also don't know that I've ever been in. I don't know if I want to check it out. Huh? We decided to check it out. That was rude. Damn you. And she lit me up. One hit with that axe. But you're distracted right now. Hey, Sorry, down. son. She the only one in here? Oh wow. There's much more to this. Did not expect that. And I didn't save, of course, so. Hi, me again. Damn you. Wow. I see you, bud. This is not going my way at all. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to put this to use. I'm just distract her. There's no room to get around. I, see you, bud. I can just get by. I can help. We did it. All right. Now about this. Is it going to kill me again? The second I touch it? Yep. So 
So I'm going to assume that this is way above my level. Unless I can destroy it with, like, flames or something. Oh, I can. Alright, maybe not. This may be really dumb of me, but let's find out what's up the hill. What fun and exciting prizes can I find behind this door? And he lit me up. It cut through me like butter. Ben, quit getting in the way, buddy. Do it. At least Sven does some damage. I do not, on the other hand. Oh wow, big ol' spider. Does not know I'm here. Does now. Yeah. This is gonna go badly. Since he poisoned me. There we go. We gotta help her. Well, that did not go like I saw in my head. Oh, and I didn't save. I'm gonna enjoy having someone to help besides just Sven. Not a fan of how they keep poisoning me, though. This is the end for you. A little army of zombies. Here comes a big one. This is the point. If you fall down and bleed to death. Just a scratch. For some reason it's not responding to my commands. It's hitting the button to power attack when my stamina was still full and it wouldn't. All right, we got him that time. Who are you? Please cut me down. You have been trapped. Are you going to attack Please me? Cut me down. All right, but you better not turn on me. Thanks for getting me out of that. Bashnag's coven chased me out and left me for dead down here. Nobody lasts too long with the spiders. So I've noticed. Please, will you help me get out of here? If the coast is clear, I'll make a break for it. Sure thing. We gotta get out of here now anyway. Coven? What do you mean? Bashnag's circle of mages. We... well... They live here. They made it pretty clear that I'm no longer welcome. Well, those... some mother truckers. You a necromancer? I am, and I don't want to hear your moral judgments about it either. I wouldn't have had to study in secret in the old days. I mean, we've been reviving zombie spiders and stuff anyway, so I can't judge. How are you holding up? I'm too weak right now. 
between the spiders and the coven, I'd be dead before escaping the cave. Tell me more about the coven. These are no dainty college mages. Bashnag has the skill of a magister and the mind of a warlord. This is a dangerous bunch. They're good company. If you want to study necromancy in peace, though. My daughter was sent to the orphanage there when I stood accused of illegal necromancy. I had no choice. Run or die. I joined with Bashnag then, but I thought of Savella every day. So I snuck off hoping to find and steal away with her. Only she was gone. Shipped away to another orphanage, or adopted, or... That's I didn't sad. know what else to do, so I came back, hoping nobody noticed I left. Until next time. Well, let's get you out of here, along with us. Sneak attack this guy. That was weak. Tell me you didn't notice the first shot? That's not good. That was terrible. Gosh, my aim is awful. Oh, hi. I don't have the Magicka for the zombie anymore. Apparently I'm going to have to start upgrading my Magicka. Sorry, swinging at him, not you. Where'd our lady friend go? She's still standing here. I won't be myself for some time. I just need to get out of here and recover. Bashnag cursed me. I can't cast a spell to save my life right now. I'll have to wait until the way out is safe. Please, let me know if it seems safe to leave. Apparently I have to clear the entire cave before she can go. That's fine. Really? I seem to not stand a chance against anybody one on one. Quit coming after me! You're literally being attacked by him. Why are you coming after me? <laughs> Change my mind. Yeah, that zombie thing is gonna be handy. Thanks for your help, zombie dude. Never should have come here. Probably not. But here I am. Uh, Sven, why do you get in the way, dude? Bashnag. I should have guessed you were an orc by the name. Yeah, just keep focusing on my buddy here. I can 
take you. Your victory is yours. I submit. Too bad. Ooh, a familiar? You can have a zombie and a familiar. Distracted. It wasn't me. Oh, man. They one shot me like so easy. Try that again. I'll take my leave now. That's more luck yet. And we got a ghost doggy. We've only got a few arrows left, so I'm not much good with the bow and arrow. Much longer. So I hear someone mining, and then there's also her. So there's at least two. <laughs> the ragdoll. Oh, I love the ragdoll physics in this game. I wonder if I could sneak flame her. She's looking this way. Doesn't see me, though. Well, I'd say I made her mad. Is someone there? Oh crap. Nope. This is not going well. I'm pretty sure the game levels with your with your level, like the difficulty, but this feels like a higher level area cuz they are all one-shotting me. Three of them, apparently. Last arrow. Up, one down. See you no, you don't. Don't target me. I yield, I yield. 
You're not allowed to heal yourself. Only I can do that. Them's the rules. There were three markers. Where's the third one? I think we can let, uh... Let the Lady Mage out of here. I'm feeling better. But Bashnag's curse won't wear off for weeks. Can you make it out of here? I'll have to wait until the way out is safe. It's clear. Good luck. Thank you. When I find my daughter, it will be thanks to you. Adios, friend. Alright, now that we helped her out, I guess it's uh, time for us to actually head where we were supposed to be heading in the first place.